What's up, people? Um, welcome back. It's Busty Buffalo with your host, Pop Addo. Um, we're on episode six, you know, and I'm taking this slowly. And I don't know how many people actually listen to this, probably not a lot. But whoever does, thank you for tuning in. Honestly, it's amazing. Uh, I never thought I was actually going to start liking this, but I really do like just putting my thought into something i don't know it's pretty nice and uh if people are going to keep liking it then i'm just going to keep doing it um eh, if people don't like it i'm still going to keep doing it like it's it's nice to get shit off my mind that i keep thinking about it whether it's funny or if it's like just insane to talk about but yeah um episode six what's going on people man um i got final coming up this thursday for school i know i'm gonna fail it uh, it's whatever though, I guess, we gotta keep trying, <laughs> lol, school, um, fucking hate school, don't really feel like talking about it, I just hate it so goddamn much, um, but yeah, dude, um, I don't know, if I, fuck, I need, I always wanted to just, like, never even go to school, to be honest, I just wanted to do, like, a trade school, like, that would have been, like, ten times easier, and I would have easily gotten a job, like, right afterwards. Just, like, eight months of, like, HVAC or some shit. Or, like, 12, 13 months of HVAC. But school, like, having to buy books and shit. Having to just study and fucking cram all the goddamn time and how many classes you have. I had, like, no classes this semester because I'm just, like, finishing up my credits. But it's still just, like, I don't know, man. It sucks. It's just, like, a shitty way to, like advanced in life but you got to do it you got to get a degree in something or do think i'll do other things you know one of my goals is to finish school but i really want to do stand-up and starting now at this age i'm i did my own open mic the other week i fucking loved it probably one of the best things i've ever done in my life i've never been happier probably i'm trying to think of like a happier time than i was like, then that night, like, I just felt, like, genuinely happy, I haven't, ha- like, felt that happy in a very, very long time, and still made people laugh, even though I had a whole bit ready, but I was only allowed, like, three minutes, I still went up there, have fun, made people laugh, and, like, God, I, it just felt good, I don't know, um, I don't know, man, it's, di- it's different for me, because some people can't, like, can't do it, but, I, I I was afraid I wasn't gonna like it, but I'm I'm literally in love with it. It's insane. Um, but yeah, I'd rather do. I I want to finish school, but I really want to do stand up. That's like my just my goal in life. That's what I want to do. And like ever since I was a kid, that's all I ever cared for, honestly. But um, I don't know, dude. What's it called? I don't even know. Recently, I was on a uh, Tinder, and. Dude, why are so many girls, like, in love with horses, bro? Like, I don't understand that. <laughs> Every girl that I that just, like, I have to swipe right. I feel like a quarter of all the girls I see, like, either ride horses or they're just fucking in love with them. Like, I, it's just weird. Like, I don't know why girls love horses. It's like, it's, like, such a weird attraction. But, like, it's a common connection, like, women have. Like, they love horses and cats (laughs) horses and cats that's like what instantly like women get attracted to and i know like puppies they get attracted to puppies too but everybody likes puppies you know like it's mostly women that like cats like i fuck with cats you know i love my cat i got my cat recently and he's peeking out right now the window he's just staring at me he's like what what is he doing yeah i'm outside my backyard chilling underneath my gazebo but yeah my cat i've had i've adopted i adopted him like this past january and i fucking love him probably one of the best things ever happened is an absolute blessing to my family but um yeah dude cats are like fucking children basically (laughs) basically just gotta be responsible (laughs) basically same thing no uh, but yeah dude i feel like if i feel like if cats and dogs could literally talk people would just stop having babies like a a large portion of the population would stop having babies like if people always talk about dude i'd rather have like dogs than kids 
Dude, if you can have dogs that talk, dude, fuck kids. Dude, fuck that. Like, you know, just save your money. All right? And if you have kids and the talking dog, you're just a real-life family guy. Family. Like, it's just weird. But how cool would that be if your, do- if your dog and cat could just, like, chill and talk to you? Hey! Psst! Hey! Get up! Fucking cat's trying to rip off my goddamn... Screen on my window. Jesus Christ. Um, but yeah, dude, if cats and dogs could talk, so many people would stop having kids. It would be so awesome. <laughs> I mean, dude, if my cat could talk to me. Oh my god, I don't even know what it, I'd be so happy. I'd be like, dude, I love you. He'd be like, yeah, 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 whatever. But if you had a dog, he would just never shut the fuck up. <laughs> Unless he told him, like, dude, you gotta stop talking. Then he'd be like sad all the time. I don't know. Um,. <sighs> it's crazy, man. It's so nice out now. It's starting to finally get fucking warm out. I'm in shorts and a short sleeve shirt, and I feel good outside. Like, all winter, I've just been inside because it's so goddamn cold. And I lost, like, a shit ton of weight. Because, like, I used to weigh, um, when I was, like, after high school. I graduated high school. Dude, my freshman year, because I got a physical recently, and I looked at, like, my weight when I was in high school. My fresh, my no, my senior year, I, I weighed 270. 270 something and i was like i didn't know i was that fucking heavy yo i was like god damn like that's fucking fat as shit and like my doctor was like yup yeah you were fat <laughs> like super fucking blunt about it and i was like damn and then the thing is after high school i don't know why i just stopped caring for like my body and my health and i worked at a pizza shop so I would just fucking go home and shove food in my goddamn mouth like it was nothing. Because we just have, like, food that I would make at the end of the night and bring it home. And then, like, I would just never work out. I would just eat late night like a fucking pig, dude. And I got up to, like, the heaviest I ever weighed in my entire life was 316. Dude, like, that's fucking big. You know, like, that's fucking big. And not in a good way. You know when people are like, yo, that's fucking big, bro. This is big in like, in a disgusting way. You know what I mean, dude? At that point, I was so fucking embarrassed of myself. I remember I took pictures of when I, like how I looked back then. And I looked like a European DJ Khaled. I'm not even kidding you. (laughs) And it was embarrassing, dude. So I decided that, that just to change my lifestyle just for my health. I didn't even care about what I looked like. I just was like, I had crazy back pain because of my weight. I have like scoliosis on top of it. So like that just wasn't helping. <clears throat> and I don't know. I needed to change my lifestyle. And like I would encourage everybody else to because I don't know. It makes you, It gives you a different outlook on life. And it makes you more healthy. It gives you more positivity in life. And it makes you more energized. It makes you want to do more shit. You can do drugs and still do, like, working out. And you can still, like, just be functional, not even lazy. Like, it changes your work ethic. And that's why I'm trying to get back into working out. Now Now that it's fucking warm out, it's gorgeous. About to, like, run around my neighborhood soon. But, um, I think I talked enough for today, man. I keep getting better and better each day by talking longer. But, um, I'm gonna end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, today's conversation. Um, I don't know what else. If whoever's listening, go check out my Instagram. Uh, it's at Edo underscore Dulos, and my Twitter's Fungus on Thy Toe. And uh, right, rock on! So everybody have a good ass day, and uh, Assalamu alaikum, brothers. <laughs>